All right, guys, welcome back to Full Moon Hot Rods. Tonight, we're gonna to be out here messing with this old raggedy Model A. And uh, I'm gonna to try to get my shop brackets put on the front of it if I can. And uh, I got to trim them down a little bit, get them to fit uh, the way I want them to. But let me show you uh, what we're working with here. All right, guys, I'm out here tonight trying to mock up these uh, shocks. So I'm going to trim these brackets a little bit in the bottom. You can see where I got them marked. I'm going to trim that off where it don't hang below my frame. And uh, then we'll, we'll get back at installing them. All right, guys, I'd like to take a minute and uh, ask everybody, it would help me out a lot if if uh, if you're keep, if you're looking at the channel and you keep coming back looking at the videos and stuff, or you like what I'm doing, even if it's your first time, hit that subscribe button. It don't cost nothing, and it'll help me out, and it'll actually help y'all out too if you're going to watch uh, where I can get some better equipment to film with and stuff like that. So let's get back to uh, working on the Model A. All right, guys, I got them, got them in the vise. So let me see if I can trim these bottom sections off and then we'll grind them and clean them up and see what we can do with this. shaped up so let me see if I can get the other one done test fit these and see how it looks like it's going to work out. All right guys, sorry about the heater running. That's what's in the background. So I got to grind this right here where I can, uh, I can weld the bracket on. So let's see if we can get that ground down. All right, there's the shock bracket. <clears throat> right here so let's see if uh, I can show you what it looks like mocked up or whatever but here it is kind of in place it's going to kind of mount sort of like this I don't know if you can see it good let me move over a little bit Thing in place. It's gonna mount something like that, so I just got to weld it on both sides and get both of them the same. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Um, but I was gonna take y'all along for the ride, even on the little things. So here we go. Let me get my welder set up, and we'll see if we can get this one spotted in, and then see if we can do the other side. All right, guys. This here's. And the way it's going to see it, I got it mocked up in place. Let's see how it looks. See if I can get this tacked in place and then we'll, uh, we'll do the other side.
contact in place. Bad thing about any seas, it gets on it gets on to everything. Left hand three. a measurement on this and three and three quarters so that should get us get us close where to fit in the um, the drop steering arms and all so well, let's see if we can get this put on you see I made uh made up a rod and well this angle iron to be able to connect my wheels together just to be able to push it around in the shop and all. Alright, let's go around and take the other side off.
steering rod. So now let's see if we can get the, the new one in. They had chrome steering rods cheaper than the uh, mild steel ones, and the mild steel ones were back ordered. That's about all we're gonna get done on the Model A tonight. Didn't have a lot of time to work on it. Uh, but every little bit you get on it, it goes a long way. I mean, if you work on one for an hour a night, it, it adds up at the end of the week. But um, anyway, we got some shocks, shock mounts done. Our steering rod ended up being the right length. Uh, that's a good thing. Um, but anyway, y'all guys like, share, subscribe. Um, comment, man. I like to hear your comments. I do my best to answer everybody. Uh, I'd love to hit, see some people hitting that uh, subscribe button, but anyway, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, take it easy.